I use three oxygen acetylene flames in my work. The neutral flame, the carbonizing flame, and the oxidizing flame. What's of interest here is the cone of the flame. Under a darkening lens, you can see these three distinct flames. Here's the acetylene flame, just after the acetylene has been ignited. Adding oxygen until the cone becomes a neutral flame. This is the correct flame for 95% of the work that I do, whether it's brazing or gas welding using a gas fuller rod. Once in a while, if the bronze is not flowing as I would like it, I add a bit of acetylene to the flame, which you can see here as the tip of the cone is extended. Here, in this case, it's too much acetylene. You don't want to overdo this, just a minute adjustment to the acetylene knob will provide you with a carbonizing flame. If the bronze is not flowing with the neutral flame, the carbonizing flame will often help. From the neutral flame, I'm adding oxygen for an oxidizing flame. You'll notice how sharp the cone is. Plus, the sound is much more of a rasping sound. I use this flame for cutting copper. In this case, copper maple leaves. It's not like cutting as with a shear or a plasma cutter. It's more like severing. You can see that the edges are rough, which is the effect I want. I don't want the leaves to look like they've been stamped out. Once again, the neutral flame, edging it out slightly for the carbonizing flame. Bring it back till the feather extends just beyond the neutral flame. You'll quickly become accustomed to the sounds of the different flames the more mellow sound of the neutral and carbonizing flame and the harsh rasping sound of the oxidizing flame.